but that's me. I have to make things more complicated. So. <laughs> I'm Kenna and I'm so excited to have you guys here with me today. So today we're going to be talking about some of the most useful houseplant tools or most useful things to have if you have houseplants. Now is it required for you to have all of these things? Absolutely not. If you, you know, don't find them useful, you don't want them, or you can't afford them, that is fine. However, these are some of the things that I find most useful as a houseplant owner. So first up, I figured we would start pretty standard, uh, something that a lot of people have, but maybe not everyone sees the value in, a watering can. Uh, I myself, I must admit, I did not have a watering can for a while. I actually purchased this one, I want to say a few months back. Uh, until then, I was using the sink, uh, the nozzle, you know, the extendable hose. I was using just whatever bottles I could find and Honestly, it was making my life a lot more difficult and I didn't realize it. Now, this watering can holds about two gallons of water, uh, which is enough to water a good portion of my collection at once. Um, I still take my plants to the sink, but it's just easier to mix in fertilizer. It's easier to mix in, you know, whatever I'm adding to my plants that day. And while it's not like the most required tool, it's definitely a very useful one. Next up is one that a lot of people probably also have, but I find incredibly useful, and that is houseplant shears. I really favor these ones that have like the pointy kind of ends. It lets you get into the nooks and crannies of your smaller houseplants. And still, you know, they're sharp enough to cut just about anything that you need. Uh, until I got these, I was actually using the kitchen shears or scissors or things like that. And while they worked, uh, they weren't the most ideal tool for the task. So I really love this pair and I'm going to link everything that I can find that I'm talking about down below. That way, if you like any of these things and you decide that you would like to get them for your own collection, there will be a link there for you. All right. And next up is one of my favorite houseplant tools, spray bottles. I have a ton of spray bottles. Uh, I pretty much save every one that I have and I reuse them a lot. <laughs> I've also purchased a few like this glass one just because I think it's really pretty. But I use spray bottles all the time for my plants from misting new leaves to help them come out of the sheath to you know spraying them down with water, neem oil, alcohol, what have you for whatever need I have. I also refill a lot of my spray bottles with like pesticides and things like that to kill thrips like we are familiar with from my last video if you saw it. So I really think spray bottles are one of the top tools that you can have as a houseplant parent. And it's definitely one of the things that I would recommend having if you don't have one. And another really awesome houseplant tool that I have and I use a lot is actually alcohol wipes. Uh, I bought these at my, I think, local Walmart. Um, and they are just 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes. And I know you're probably thinking, what use do these possibly have when it comes to plants? Uh, well, <laughs> I actually use these to clean up my shears after I've trimmed uh, any plants, just to prevent the spread of pests and disease. And I also use them to clean up plant surfaces. So if you're not aware, alcohol actually kills most plant pests on contact. So if I do have a plant pest that I'm battling, I will keep all of my plant surfaces clean to the best of my ability. And I've used alcohol wipes because I know that if there is any plant larvae or anything like that on that surface, that the alcohol wipes will kill it and I don't have to risk it spreading to my other plants. So definitely a very, very useful houseplant tool, one I would recommend having in stock and one I use really, really often. And next up is again, one I use almost every day and that is my moisture meter. So this moisture meter does have three functions. It also will tell you the pH of your soil and it will tell you the light level uh, or candles of that area of your home. 
Um, I don't really use those functions. I will say I pretty much exclusively use this for a moisture meter and it does a great job. Um, there are single probe ones, there are multiple probe ones. I bought this one because I thought I would use the other functions. I probably could have bought the really simple easy one, but that's me. I have to make things more complicated. So <laughs> I really love this one though. It is really great for telling you when your plants need water. So I like to stick my finger into soil and that often tells me, you know, if there's moisture in the soil or if the soil is dry. However, for larger plants that have deeper pots, sometimes it is really, really hard to tell when they're dry because you can't, you know, reach all the way down there. So I will say moisture meter is super useful in those instances. I can just probe this down into the soil and it will tell me right here, easy to read. It'll tell me, I believe it's wet and uh, dry, moist, and wet. There we go. Dry, moist, and wet. And it will tell me, you know, if my plant needs water. And it has saved me probably from overwatering a lot of plants. If you don't have one, I love this one and I recommend it. I'll link it below for you. All right, next up is a potting mat. And I will put in some footage here uh, that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But this is an awesome thing to have as a plant parent. So I actually didn't have one until recently. My boyfriend bought me this one for Christmas and it was a stocking stuffer actually. Uh, and I gotta say, he did a great job. This one is really, really big. It lets me repot multiple plants at a time and it saves my floor and furniture and countertop from getting dirt all over it like I normally would otherwise. So this is an awesome tool as a plant parent and it really does help to keep, uh, keep your home a little bit cleaner and help to uh, kind of contain the mess that happens when you're repotting. So highly recommend, like I said, I will link a similar one down below. That way, if you don't have a repotting mat and you decide that you would like to pick one up, there's a link for you there. So the next two items on my list kind of go hand in hand, and that is plant stakes and something to tie your plants up with. I said Velcro on my list, that is my favorite thing to use, but I am out of Velcro right now. So I have been using this twist tie type material that comes uh, in this little container type fashion that lets you cut it. It is also really useful, but I do prefer Velcro, just in case anyone is wondering what they should pick up. So plant stakes and a something to tie your plant up with are really, really useful. Uh, for those of you who don't know, plants like philodendron, uh, Hoya, Syngonium, they all require support. If you just kind of let them grow, they will probably do fine, but because their stems are not able to support the weight of the plant, a lot of the times they will topple over or they'll just start growing really wonky. And the problem with that is that you honestly will not get the type of leaves that you're pretty often looking for in a houseplant. Uh, typically houseplants will not grow big beautiful leaves unless they have support or something to climb. So I really like stakes. This one is just a little simple bamboo one. You can pick them up at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, places like that, any kind of home and garden store. Uh, honestly, a lot of places ship with these so I have a lot left over from plants that I've purchased but I really love using stakes and tying them up my plants. That way I know that they have the support they need to keep growing big and beautiful leaves for me. And the next item on my list is a propagation vessel. So I have lots and lots of prop vessels in my home. This is just one of them. Um, honestly, I love to thrift propagation vessels. I will go to Goodwill, thrift stores, and just find some really, really pretty glasses or cups or you know things of that nature. That way, when I do have a plant that I need to propagate, I have somewhere to put them. Um, you can obviously use you know cups, things like that, like little plastic uh, containers, and that's not a big deal. But to me, I really love having something beautiful to propagate in. So I have things that like this that have that colored glass. Um, I have just plain vases and I really enjoy seeing them. I enjoy propagating in them. So it's definitely something that I have on my list as a plant tool that I enjoy using. So last on my list is a thermometer hygrometer. Uh, I'm sure we're all familiar with thermometers. It tells you the ambient temperature of whatever area it is in. However, a hygrometer is especially useful for a houseplant parent. So a lot of plants do require, you know, certain humidity in order to grow well. 
uh, if you have low humidity, sometimes you'll have problems with leaves coming out, you'll have problems with leaves drying up, browning, things like that. And it's really hard to know the temperature and humidity in your home unless you have a device to tell you. So this is my current favorite one. I have one of these in my plant room. I have one in my greenhouse and they are uh, Bluetooth connected. So it'll tell me on the app uh, what the temperature is, what the uh, humidity is in the area. And honestly, I just find this to be a really useful tool. Uh, my humidity in this room is usually above 50, usually 50 to 60, just kind of depending on the day, the ambient humidity outside. And if I'm running a lot of water that day, sometimes it goes up a little bit, but I would never know otherwise what the humidity is in my home. So I will say this is a very, very useful tool. I highly recommend it. And if you're looking to pick one up, I really like this one. I like that it's Bluetooth connected and it makes my life a lot easier. All right, plant pals, and that is it for my list of most useful houseplant tools. I would love to hear from you guys. Do you use any of these tools or are there any that I missed that I might need to get? I'm always looking for ways to make my life as a houseplant parent a little bit easier. And go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. I do post new videos weekly and I would love to have you guys back. There is a subscribe button down there if you would like to go ahead and hit it. I would love to have you guys be some of my pals. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.